Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Preston Miller here. And in this video, I just wanted to talk really quick about how I got this blurred background effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom the camera out here and show you guys. I basically used a Wistia setup here. Hey, I'm Chris from Wistia, and this is the DIY lighting kit. But basically, I've got this backdrop set up here, and I've got this light that I'm pushing in here. So whenever I zoom in and do this effect here, let me just go ahead and tighten that up right there. Yeah. So whenever I zoom in here and you just see me, it's got this really cool blurred effect here. Now I've got this idea, let me go in a little bit more here. And you can go in as tight or as wide as you want on this shot. Okay, this is the shot that I like to use right here, but I've seen people who do it a lot farther back and that's okay too. But basically I've got two lights, okay? I've got two lights here, let me, there we go. I've got two lights here and I've got one behind me here. And what I've done with this setup is just try to have nice, you know, natural lighting with this effect right here, with this little kind of like halo shooting up. It's pointing up on the background here. And it, I think it looks very professional and I think it looks uh, a little bit artistic too versus just look at this. If I turn this light off here, you'll see what it turns into, look. It's a, little, it's a little darker, it's not as warm, it doesn't feel as good versus, here we go, let me turn that back on, there we go. It brightens it up, it gives it a little bit more of a, a flow and it makes things seem better. Look at this, I mean, that looks professional. How could this guy not be an expert? Now, this setup behind me, it's kind of expensive to do this kind of a setup, guys. Uh, this backdrop alone here, it's called a Veripole and I got it on, on one of my favorite photo sites, it's called B&H. And it was, I think it was about like three or four hundred dollars somewhere in there. Um, but that did not include the paper roll. So this gray paper roll was about eighty dollars. I also have a blue one. I don't really use that one as much. I, I thought it would look good. I saw. I think it's Cowboy Studio. It's actually these lights. I've been running them. Excuse me. It's Limo Studio. Great set of lights. It's actually four lights. I'm not using the other one right now. This is my current setup. I really like it. Um, it's been great for me as far as like cranking out videos and uh, getting things going. Uh, sometime in the future, I might start using a more casual setup, but right now, this is fantastic. I like it. I'm using external audio on my camera. I've got a lav mic hooked up here on my shirt. Let me zoom back out here and you guys can see this here. Look at this, I've got a lav mic hooked up on my shirt right here that's feeding into the camera. If you're gonna get a camera, one of the things you have to make sure you get is one that has a, a microphone input, okay? This is very important. This is how you distinguish, you know, the cheaper, lower-end cameras from the, the better, more expensive ones is one that has a mic input, and then, you know, mine doesn't have this, but some of these higher-end ones have, you know, headphone audio, monitoring where you can check the audio levels while you're recording you can also do it in post but it's really cool stuff so i just want to show you guys this is the backdrop that i'm using i'll put more links in the description below but this is how to get that cool wistia effect uh, in your video so hey, if you have any questions at all please leave a comment below i do monitor my uh, youtube channel comments and i will respond to you uh, but hey be sure to subscribe and uh, thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys next time